Welcome to this video that will show you the AVID project transfer functionality within our project parking application. This allows you to transfer AVID projects and media onto external drives, which can then be taken away for editing on another media composer. I will also show you Project Python's ability to reintegrate offline projects back into the source system. The transfer is very simply managed within parking by allowing the user to select the project they want to export and choosing the external drive. In this case, I'm looking at my active projects on the left side of the screen. The right side of the screen shows the currently attached storage. If I add my USB drive to my computer and refresh the list, we will see my USB drive appear in the list. It is currently shown as having no media as this is a clean drive. If I have a look in Explorer, we will see that this drive is currently empty. Now in Project Parking, I'll click on the projects I work with and then select the Transfer option below. When the next dialog opens, I'll select the profile for Copy to External Drive. Now as with any other action in Project Parking, you can choose how much of the project to process. From the full project down to a selection of bins. In this case, we'll take the full project. I have the copy to external drive option enabled and I'll choose the media destination. In this case, I will select the USB drive. The transfer itself will check through the projects and the bin files and identify all of the reference media. It will then copy the media files onto the USB drive, consolidating the files from all of the source workspaces into a single Avid Media Files folder. It will then copy the project files into a separate folder on the drive. Parking will also handle any conversion required between the different Avid Media File structures, so projects can be transferred even from an interplay system down to the standalone storage. So I'll hit Start to set off the transfer. The progress can be tracked in the Activity tab. If I have a look at the USB drive, we'll see that the Avid Media Files folder and the Projects folder have been created. In the Avid Media Files folder, we'll find the normal Avid standalone folder structure. If we look in the Projects folder, we'll see the Avid project and the bin files have all come across. This drive can now be disconnected from this machine and taken off to a different media composer for editing. Once the drive is added to that media composer, it will index the content in the drive and they will all become editable. In this case, I'll just switch to my media composer, which will trigger it to index the drive. You can now see that those indexes have been created. One additional note, you do need to make sure that the All Drives option is enabled in Media Composer. This is set within the console dialog in Media Composer. Parking can be set to work on multiple projects at the same time, and it will build up a list of jobs to work through. So I'll set off another couple of transfers to the same drive. All the media will be consolidated into that same Media Files folder and the projects will be written into the Projects folder. As the number of Media Files grow, Parking will automatically roll over into multiple subfolders to prevent any issues with the Media Composer's indexing. Parking also has the option to reintegrate any changes made to the projects in the media on this drive. It can be reattached when the work has been completed and we can use the Reintegrate Offline Projects option within the Transfer section. To do this, I'll first have to tell Parking to look on this drive for the projects. I do this by opening the configuration, going to the Projects Location section, and adding in the path to the Projects folder on the drive. I'll call this my USB Projects. That is now added to the list of the projects, and I can select my required project from the USB drive in the list and open the transfer option and now choose that reintegrate offline project profile. I can now detail where I want this to be brought back to. In this case I'll bring it back to my original project which will merge any changes into the project and I'll choose the media drive or workspace for the actual essence. In this case, I'm running from local storage, so I'll use the C drive. 
I can then start the process. And in this case, my original content is all still online, so the job doesn't take very long, as we don't copy in the media if we find it's still available in the selected location. So it really is as simple as that to copy the projects off for remote editing and to bring them back into the source system in the future. Thanks for watching this video. Please contact us at this address if you'd like any more information on project parking or on any of our other products. Thank you.